Welcome to Undisputed Live from Los Angeles. I'm Jamie Maggio here with Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp. All right, welcome Guys, back. Yeah, you can't beat them, Jordan, Skip. You can't beat them, Jordan. Oh, so you're taking my line yeah, before I use it you know against you. You're trying to preempt me. You know. Have you seen the new Terminator? It, it was I on display not. last night at Staples. Did you see that in the fourth quarter? Just like the, just like the one that yeah, came out last yeah, week. It's yeah. awful. It's awful? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The movie's really? awful. Oh, don't tell me okay, that. Okay, here we go. Showdown uh, Sunday. How you doing? This is where it all starts for my <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. Ends. Yep. Actually, here we it go. Ends. It ends Sunday. Next question. <laughs> all right, guys. We have a busy Friday show going into this Veterans Day weekend. Will the Cowboys make it three in a row Sunday against no. the Vikings? No. And is Kawhi showing that he's the best player on the planet? But first, we'll start with Antonio Brown. Yesterday, it was reported that Brown would meet with the NFL next week about allegations levied against him. Within hours, Brown sent a profanity-laced tweet slamming the NFL and saying that his name should be cleared. Several hours later, AB deleted his initial tweet and had a change of tune, tweeting, quote, I'm just very frustrated right now with the false allegations and slander to my name. I love football and I miss it. I just want to play and I'm very emotional about that. I'm determined to make my way back to the NFL ASAP. Oh, Shannon, start us off here. What is going on with AB? This is AB not knowing how to ask for help, but asking for help. Skip, this is not normal behavior. The, the uncontrollable rage, the lashing out, and we've seen this. We see when things don't go his way, he lashes out. Then his PR or his handling team gets a hold of him like, A.B., what are you doing? Yep. Do you realize you're costing yourself? You haven't even talked to the NFL yet, mm. which you're supposed to do at some point next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We don't definitively know the date. And then he's like, he deletes it. Skip, and, 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 and I hate this, is that in his original post yesterday, we kind of touched on it, is that... <clears throat> It's always someone else's fault. The NFL, you know, y'all do this, and y'all making money on my blood, sweat, and tears. Skip, there, over the course of 100 years, there have been people that have been wronged, especially the quarterback position, mm -hmm. because you and I both know there were quarterbacks that probably could have been given opportunity that weren't given yeah. a fair opportunity. A.B. A -B doesn't have that gripe. So what role did your race play in you getting 30 million guaranteed from the Raiders? Did they use that against you? Mm -hmm. And then you talk your way up out of that. It, uh, uh, the owner, Mark Davis, releases a text that you said, release me. Mm. You're on your IG social media skip talking about, I'm free, I'm free, running around your backyard. And everybody, man, look at A.B. A.B. planned this all along, wanted to go to the Patriots. Okay, he goes to the Patriots, he has a nice game. Then this comes out for whatever reason, they release him. And what does he do? He lashes out at Mr. Kraft. Go on. Let me go. Uh, A.B., what are you doing? Mm. He deletes that. Mm. Okay. Yesterday, he's lashing out the NFL. Skip, the NFL didn't bring these charges. You actually think they want this on their resume, Skip, mm -hmm. in the 100-year celebration of the NFL? Yep. No! You brought this to their doorstep. They have no choice but to do an, a thorough mm. investigation. What you should have done, the moment it came out, I'm knocking on their door. I'm at Park Avenue, Skip, up in New York. I'm knocking, hey, y'all, somebody. Mm. Uh, uh, Troy Vincent. Uh, Jeff Pash, Roger yep. Goodell, somebody, all three of you guys, somebody needs to talk to me because I need to clear my name. So we need to get this to a, get this, uh, bring this to a conclusion as soon as possible. But Skip, this is Antonio Brown. When you don't know how to ask for help, you have to go about it roundabout ways. Mm -hmm. And this is his way of saying, guys, I need help, but I don't really know how to ask. So he's go lashing out. It's everybody else's fault. To say the things that he said, F the NFL and F the, I don't, I, I don't need the NFL. Now, all of a sudden, he needs the NFL. He wants to play. Bruh, I keep telling you, A.B., there's no other way around this. You will act your West. You will adhere to the rules and regulations set forth by the NFL, or you won't be a part of the NFL. Nobody has been that yep. talented that the NFL says, you know what? We're going to forego our rules, our regulations to accommodate you. Mm. It hasn't mm. happened. It won't happen. And Antonio Brown is finding this the hard way, Skip. He thought the phone was going to ring without him going to talk to them people up at Park Avenue. And he's finding out the phone ain't even mm. ringing at all. Mm. He's asking for help. I hope he gets the kind of help that he needs to get this resolved. All very well said by you.
So my biggest takeaway is that right now, Antonio Brown leads the National Football League in only one category, <laughs> deleted tweets, yes. right? Yes. He leads the league because it's just like every other day. It's bam, 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 delete, 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 delete. So thanks to Twitter, we are now able to sit back and watch a superstar athlete mm -hmm. unravel melt down, go completely over the edge right before your very eyes. Right before you can I... see it in real time. Yes. Right there on your timeline. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. You mentioned abnormal. Back in my days at Vanderbilt University, I took a course called Abnormal Psychology. I really <laughs> liked it. Yes. I actually made an A in that course. This is all time abnormal. It is. Because this is bordering on classic manic depressive. Mm -hmm. It's just manic. I hate you, Roger Goodell, and I hate everything you stand for, and I hate your league. Please take me back. Right. Please. Right. I want to come back. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. He needs help. You've said it for a month or so. I have echoed. And our man James Harrison, we had on a month or so ago, mm -hmm. who used to be very close to Antonio mm -hmm. as his Pittsburgh teammate, I, I'm going to go so far as to say James was his big brother. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And I think Antonio learned a lot from James, but not enough from James. So we had James on the show a month or so ago, and here is what James had to say about his quote-unquote little brother, Antonio. I think right now, you know, I haven't had a chance to talk to him in a while. I think right now he needs to get some people in his corner that actually care about him as a person and that are going to tell him exactly, you know, good, give him good advice. I've, you know, I've tried to talk to A.B. And, and give A.B. advice, but, you know, he's a man and he's going to do what it is that he feels is right and, and what it is that he wants to do. And I think right now he has a lot of people in this corner that are, that are yes men. And they're like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just feel like he needs to sit back, look at the whole situation and understand that, you know, where you're at now, is, is partly your doing, man. So, I couldn't say it any better. I couldn't say it as well as you said it, and you couldn't say it quite as well as he just said it. That pretty much sums it up for me. And my biggest takeaway from this is, even if Antonio goes to New York, help me out here, how contrite do you think he'll come across to league officials? Well, <clears throat> the, now, to our knowledge, they've already talked to the lady that accused Antonio of doing this. So what happens when he says, well, now, I didn't do this. Sexual assault right. and rape in a civil suit. Right. Yep. So what happens when she says, okay, she's already told the investigators and maybe talked to uh, Commissioner Goodell or, or Troy Benson or Jeff Pash, whomever she's talked to. So what happens when Antonio Brown and what she says don't coincide and they call him on it? Then what does he do? Because you see what happens, Skip, the moment he doesn't get his way. What does he do? He lashes out. He lashes out. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be very, very interesting to how he plays his hand. Normally they tell you, you know, when you go into a deposition, you go into a courtroom, you never blow your cool mm -hmm. because now the jury's looking at you. Everything they said is true about you. Look how you mm -hmm. acting. Mm -hmm. So you need to play your hand cool, A.B., mm -hmm. even though you might be seething. Is he capable right now? No, of playing no, absolutely cool? not. I say absolutely, absolutely not. not. So again, my biggest takeaway is that even beyond these allegations, and there's a second accuser that I'm going to get to in just a second mm -hmm. via the Sports Illustrated story, mm -hmm. even if we, we go beyond those for the moment, if I look back at, at his behavior just over the last year, like irregardless of this, right. it's so much that, <laughs> that when I tried to research it before the show, I ran out of time. Right. If, if we, ha we have two and a half hours live on this show, we would need three hours to, d to do the scope <laughs> right. of all of the incidents mm -hmm. and controversies and misbehavior Antonio has been involved in that are detrimental to the shield that is the NFL, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's all conduct unbecoming to the point that even on all of this misbehavior alone, standing aside from the more serious allegations that I would think he would have to be suspended for one year just off this. Mm -hmm. It's so much. And if I can just hit the, so to speak, lowlights of this. Remember, we had 
the, the suit filed against him for throwing the furniture off the 14th floor right. of his Miami high rise, right. Miami Beach high rise. And it. You failed uh, that, though, right? Well, remember, <laughs> he melted down in the hearing oh, the for that. 